An already convicted sex offender now needs $200,000 to get out of jail. Investigators said he attacked a woman on a Clark County bike path. He was in court today after a grand jury indicted him a second time after investigators said he tried raping a woman. News Center 7's John Padell joins us live in the News Center. And John, you've followed this case for months. I have, Cheryl and James. And as we've previously reported, Adam Humphreys was a known threat as a registered sex offender. But as we've uncovered, that information was not posted publicly. He was back in front of a judge today after that re-indictment that now means he's facing more severe charges. Adam Humphreys faced a judge virtually Tuesday. He appeared from the Clark County Jail, where he's been since his arrest this spring. The judge entered a plea of not guilty for him to charges of attempted rape, kidnapping, and strangulation in a re-indictment of those exact charges. A bond was set at $200,000 cash assurity. That bond will cover both cases. Springfield police say Humphreys attacked a woman along a bike path in May. He's 19 and the appearance Tuesday was in adult court. But as we've previously reported, court records show his sex offender status comes from a rape conviction in Shelby County Juvenile Court, one week shy of his 16th birthday. Humphrey's information does not show up on the state's public sex offender registry online. Even his next door neighbor didn't know he was a registered sex offender. The amount of kids that are in the neighborhood and the bus and school activity that it should be known for everybody. here. We uncovered law enforcement knew about Humphrey's status and learned he was compliant with mandatory registrations in Clark County, all while deputies made regular unannounced checks on his address. We found registration requirements are based on the date of conviction, not the offender's current age. At the time of his conviction, he was a juvenile, uh, and so the law in place at the time did not specify that he be subject to a community notification, mandatory community notification. Court records show Humphreys has a trial date that's set for next week, but I checked today and was told that is very likely going to be pushed back. Live in the News Center, I'm John Bedell, News Center 7.